students. Today, I wanted to read a book called Help the Environment Saving Water. It's part of the Help the Environment nonfiction series. The topic is going to be how to save water. This book was written by Charlotte Gillane. Here's our table of contents. It's found in the front of a nonfiction book and tells us what pages we'll find the smaller topics on, the key details. On page four, they'll tell us what the environment is. On page six, they'll let us know how we use water. They'll tell us different ways to save water on page eight. And in the back, there will be a glossary and an index that tell us what the special words are in this book that we need to understand in order to really understand the topic. They'll tell us what they mean in the glossary and they'll tell us where to find them, what page in the index. What is the environment? The environment is the world all around us. So looking at the pictures carefully, you can see cities, rivers, lakes, forests, everywhere in the entire world all around us. That's our environment. We need to care for the environment. How do we use water? We use water for many things. When we save water, we help the environment. There's only so much clean water on earth. We need to take care of it. We need to conserve water. We need to save it. We shouldn't use lots and lots. Ways to save water. We use water to wash dishes. We save water if we turn off the tap while we wash. The tap is another word for the faucet. If you turn off the faucet when you are doing your dishes, you will save water and we will help the environment. We use water to clean our teeth. We save water if we turn off the tap while we brush. We help the environment. So these children, they got their toothbrushes wet and put their toothpaste on it and turned off the faucet. Then they brushed their teeth for the whole two minutes. Then they spit. Then they turn the water back on. They rinse their toothbrush, rinse out their mouth, clean the sink, and turn off the water again. They do not leave it running the entire time they're brushing. We use water to wash our body. We save water when we take a shower instead of a bath. We help the environment. We waste water if a tap is dripping. If a faucet, whether it's inside or outside, is dripping, it's wasting water. If you see a dripping tap, you should let your family know so that they can fix it. We save water when we turn off a dripping tap. We help the environment. Plants need water to grow. We save water by catching rainwater to water plants. We help the environment. So in the corners of your houses or buildings on the outside, you'll see a pipe that comes down from the roof. It directs all the rainwater off of the roof and into the yard. If you direct it into a barrel instead, that's called a rain barrel. And it fills up and you can use it to water your plants later when it's dry. It saves the water and catches rainwater. This can help the environment too. A hose uses lots of water. We save water when we use a watering can instead of a hose. We help the environment. We can save water. We can help the environment. How are they helping? How is this child saving water? They told us that a hose uses lots of water. So when it's time for him to wash the car, he's not using a hose. He's using a bucket of water. He has a bucket of soapy water and he soaps up the whole car, then washes it off. Here's our glossary in the back. They tell us the special word we need to understand in this book is the word environment. The world all around us is what that word means.
they tell us the definition in the glossary. And in the index, they tell us some of our words that we need to understand, like bath or plants or teeth and watering can. They use all of those words in this book. If we wanted to know what page to find the word on, we'd look in the back of the book on the index. How can you help save water?